Yes, this is Fisher's Fishing. We're going to try to get some bait today. We use crawdads and minnows to catch largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, and whatever wants to eat them. Stay tuned. GoPro's on. And, ooh, got about a dozen crawdads for a swipe. Oh, got some big chubs too. GoPro on. Mm -hmm. Look at them chubs. That's what we come after. The big old chubs. Goes in the minute bucket. Crawl dead. Set that over there. Crawl dead's in the bottom. Another chub. Baby ones we save for next year. Big ones we keep. Rocks we don't use. Next swipe. Next swipe. Can't get in there too much trash. Move down? Yep, let's go to the next hole. Yeah. See so what you want to do is just come up on a brush pile and just poke the end of the sticks on the brush pile and they'll run into the net trying to get away. And you just pick it up and they'll be right in your net. So that gives the roots right there. You can get up in there and hide. Get the trash out of there. I said we got them all. Bring it over here. I'll bring the buckets to you. Oh, crap. Crawl that's still in there. I'm coming. Oh my god, look at all them crawdads. Look at all them crawdads. Alright guys, I got some water. Let's look at all them crawdads. I don't want a little the big ones. I want the little ones. I want the medium sized ones. Mm -hmm. Medium sized, soft shell. Minnows go in one bucket. Ooh, crawdads go in another. Soft shell, they're the best kind. Some soft, some's hard. Mm-hmm. Guys, look how many crawdads we got from that scoop. Mm -hmm. We got more than that, but he just gets the soft shell ones and the medium size one. There's a, a chub under it. Yeah. That's a good scoop right there, guys. Yeah. We'll get back to you in the next hole. Just turn it on. Ooh, there's, there's crawl beds in here. That's got to go slow. Sometimes slower the better. If you go too fast, they'll come over top of your sand. If you go slow, you usually get a lot more. Man, there's some big dabbers in this one. God, they're going everywhere. All right, and there's a piece of metal. I gotta go top that metal. Keep from cutting my net. I say this hole here, I'll probably get about 50 or 60 curl dabbers. Huh? I've never seen this many crowd at four people, but you're gonna see them. Here they come. Don't get poison out of This is what you do when you're saying one scoop. Oh. That's what we got. One scoop. One scoop. That's what you come up with if you get a good scoop. Alright guys, we just hit another jackpot hole. There's probably 30 some crawdads right there. We're going to pick out for some. Look how big they are. They're all going back through the water. We came through that tunnel right there. Right in this little deep hole. We got tons of them. Some smallmouth. We're going to catch a lot of smallmouth in the future. So, probably the next video. So be ready. 
soft shell. I get the soft shell ones. Look at the baby one in there. Mm-hmm. You keep him or not? Mm -mm. All right, we're at the next hole. It's all crawdads. We don't need no more crawdads. We need menace. Whoa. These are all crawdads. I need menace. All right. Yeah, there's crawdads everywhere. Huh? And this is... I've never seen so many crawdads before. Never. All right, let's see what we got. Where the bucket? Up there. Now okay. look how many crawdads there is. Look at this big boy. Whoa. Do you want any of them or no? Huh? Yeah, I want a dozen or so of them. Man, this water here is cold. Probably won't get nothing here. It's deep. Though. All right, now you need to walk out to me. Yeah. Walk straight to me. Walk, just keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. I'm sinking, I'm sinking. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, move. See what we got. See what, oh, look at this swipe. All right, three nice ones. Give me a minute back there. Pros on. Ooh, four nice ones. All right, where's the crawdad bucket? I'm gonna pick out just the real good ones. There's one. There's one. Oh yeah. Oh the ooh, where's that softy? The soft shells is the best. Big Papa. Here grow. Get him next year. Another nice minna. Hmm. That's a little bit big. That's a nice one right there. Nice one right there. Mm -hmm. right here. Yeah, it's nice one there. That's about it. Alright, last hole. Last hole. Under the big rock, see what we got. Here we go. Ooh, this one's deep. Whoa, I can't get up under there. It's too deep. Whoa. I'm about to come out there with a big old trout. Ooh, yes, nice. Nice menace. Here, throw your little bucket for me. Three good ones. Three good ones. Wow, my goodness, guy. Grab that one. Alright, we have to hit it one more time. I just went in there sideways. What? What is on that? Is that a. It might be a. Might be a briar bush. Cool. All right, one more time. One more time. Whoa, man. Yeah. There's some nice ones there. There's some musky bait there, boys. That right there. That right there. Get a four pound smallmouth. All right. That should do us. That should do us. Yeah, yeah, that sucker. 
Show them that one. Huh? Show them how big that one is. Right there's the lumps on there. This is the number one musky bait right there, boys. If you had one of these out on the river, <laughs> can't grab them. That's what you need right there, musky bait. Look at that baby. That's definitely a musky. Turn him loose. I'm gonna need one. Uh -uh. We got plenty. All right, we're out of here. All right, guys. So there's all the minnows we got. We're gonna put them in a minnow trap that we close the holes off. So the minnows that we just were keeping for later, they have no chance of getting out. So that way next time we come out here, we can use them again. Use them tight together, and then we're gonna go. We can put the crawdads up, and there's a ton of crawdads in here. It's black from how many crawdads is in there. And they're just piled up on top of each other. There's a four minnow. All right. So we're gonna wanna put it in the water. And then tie it up so it doesn't flood away. Alright, so we're Now he's got to tie it up. Right here. Then we're good to go. Good to go Time there. for the crawdads. Whoa, that's a nice one. And we'll put the crawdads in the bucket. Show them how many crawdads there is first. Crawdads. Okay. Alright, just pour it in there now. You can look in the bottom of it. Oh, whoa. There goes three crawdads. If you look in the bottom of that bucket, you'll see. Oh, right, hold that open it. right there. Can you hold it? Okay. One, two, three. Like this, so one, two. Oh, that one's touched my finger. Whoa. Oh, he cut off finger. Look down in there. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to set a couple minute traps. A little secret you might want to know. That I've learned in my 40 years. I always like to put my bread around the hole like this. Once they start eating it, they come on in. So you put that bread around the hole, so they can come after it. And then there's one other little secret I do. Get a good picture of this. Most people don't believe it. Juicy fruit. God, it smells good. And they can smell it from our way. They'll come to it, but they will not eat it. So you just throw it down in there? That's it. Just basically throw yeah. it down in there. Throw it in the bucket. Okay, when you set these minnow traps, don't set them sideways. Water's got to float. In this hole, out this hole. That away. So the minnows come in. You always want to tie them up. If it comes good rain, you still got your trap. Believe me, I've lost many of traps. Thank you.